For many years, William's younger brother was one of the princess's closest people among the monarchy. In 2020, however, the Welsh had to find new best friends in the palace. For nearly a decade, Kate Middleton and Prince Harry have been more than just family to each other. During that time, they have managed to become real friends. The Welsh and Sussex quickly found common ground. The king's youngest son saw Catherine as the sister he never had, and she saw him as a close friend, unlike-minded man. That Middleton and Harry got on well was evident to the naked eye. They often stood together at events, and the princess often had a smile on her face at another of her relative's witty jokes. He could easily cheer Catherine up and help her relax in a tense environment. Harry unequivocally stimulated the mischievous side of Kate's personality, as if to bring it out. The sympathy and fun they shared with each other provided much-needed respite for Kate, who could sometimes even take her royal duties too seriously, explains body language expert Judy James. But the Duke's marriage to Meghan Markle, their move to America and the offensive remarks about Kate in Sussex's memoir have taken a heavy toll on the bond of one's two people so close. After losing a friend in Harry, Catherine, 41, has found one again in another member of the royal family. Judy James is confident that the princess now has the support she needs from 41-year-old Zara Tyndall, granddaughter of the late Queen Elizabeth and daughter of Princess Anne. She is known for her rather free-spirited personality and earthy sense of humor basically, everything that attracted Kate to Harry. Kate's body language with Zara Tyndall is relaxed and tactile, and her wide smiles and enthusiastic facial expressions at social events and shared jokes speak to a strong friendship, the expert explains. Their husbands, Mike Tyndall, 44, and William, 40, are also close. This is indicated by their tight hugs at recent events. What Middleton and Tyndall have in common is not only their age, but also the fact that their weddings took place around the same time, four months apart. That means they have a lot of common topics of conversation related to marriage and parenting.